Hey everyone, it's Felicia from RP2G and today we're back with Gone Home. Um, last time we played this game, we left off on exploring the house a little bit downstairs and kind of uncovering the clues to this mystery of where everyone has gone. Um, so let's just jump right into it and see what else we can discover this time. I know last time um, we were, well, I was a bit on edge because everything just has this very eerie vibe to it in this game. And um, while a lot of this stuff is really, oh, we made a mess and I definitely don't feel bad about it. Um, it just has a very eerie vibe to it and there's no there has been no real reasons for me to be scared of this game yet because nothing scary has really happened yet um, it just has a very dark vibe and it makes you wonder like what really happened because her parents aren't here or her sister left Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want. And we can meet in the parking lot after six. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. <laughs> it looks like um, they were going to play some video games. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Interesting. So we don't un we still don't know why they call this house the psycho house. Um, the storm gets me. Er, the thunder gets me every time. But we still have no idea why um, this house is called the Psycho House or why people are treating her differently because of where she lives. Um, a lot of this stuff is still yet to be really... I mean, there's this thing with the great uncle and how he used to live here and he died and then the house was left to them. and all that good stuff so we're done with this room so i'm just going to close that door just to show that we're done and that it's been explored um i was told that i should look at the map i don't know oh okay so the <laughs> the basement is the door that is locked um music room did we? I think that's the closet. Dad's office. Library. TV room. Closet. Closet. So I feel like we... I'm just hearing noises. I didn't see this last time. Hey, are you the new girl Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you wave if you get this and right back hi tommy yes i'm samantha and yes i'm new what's up <sighs> okay get a grip of yourself all right <laughs> i just thought since you're new maybe you could use a friend i don't have a lot of friends either and so i thought i'd ask something if you don't mind do you mind no no i don't mind what did you want to ask was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> apparently, it's the uncle that went crazy. According to everyone, we don't really know the, the real story behind it yet, but 
We're getting bits and pieces. So, I'm looking for a key to the basement. Um, we're probably gonna find that upstairs, because I feel like I pretty thoroughly checked all these areas, and I did not see any keys. This does not close. Alright. Yeah, so we already checked in there. We checked there. Did we check all the drawers for keys? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like someone was walking upstairs. <sighs> I am not sure I am ready. I am not sure I am ready. Okay, so... Yeah, it seems as if we checked everything really well. Over here. So let's move on to the rest of the house. I am deathly afraid of going upstairs. Did we read this letter? Dear Jen, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi Carol. Okay. So that was to her mom from a friend that I guess she used to room with. All right, so this is locked, but it doesn't say where that goes. So I guess we have no choice. Up the stairs we go. All right, so nothing in there, nothing in here. Controlled burned. Scheduled for Boone County. Okay, so this is, you know, the forest that her mother worked at. There's a comb. Hmm. So it looks like some transfers are going on at her job. Fuck this, guys. Seriously. I was thinking maybe there was an attic door. Oops. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand psycho house tour. And took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Hmm. 
Okay, so this looks like what might be her little sister's room. I'm still spooked from that noise I heard earlier. Ha! Huh, it looks like one of those Lisa Frank things. Got your number. Are you going to the dance with anyone? Whoops. The King's Labyrinth. Fraying threads. I don't think I'm going to read all of this. So this looks like another story. Is that a collar? Oh, I know what those are, those little magic things. If you stare at them really hard, you can like see something in them. Super Spitfire. Huh. Journey of Crystal. Looks pretty cool. Nothing on that side. What is this paper on the floor? <laughs> Chun Li moves. Some Street Fighter. <laughs> her council's missing. So she definitely took it with her. <laughs> her little sister kind of reminds me of myself when I was her age. Very punky, like, offbeat. We don't know that yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sick poster. Cute. Oh. Groove magazine. Another groove magazine. Oh, the glow in the dark stars. This is taking me back, guys. Please don't let the lights go out. That's all I'm begging for it not to happen. Hmm, creative writing for Sammy Sam. Sam I am. Okay, so... Uh, do you guys hear that? Good fellow high school disciplinary referral. Student name Milana De Soto. Mr. Benchley observed Miss De Soto wearing a t shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Miss De Soto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. I'm not looking. Miss De Soto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Miss DeSoto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Miss DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. And the parent never signed it. This is a pretty big house. Okay, so her room started here. And, um, 
Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so hard right now. Just because I'm like expecting something awful to happen. Read sternly worded letter. Lurder. <laughs> Lurder. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me and yet all, and let you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Where Miss Regards your daughter Samantha. So she was rebelling. She Yeah, definitely was just rebelling against her her parents at this point in time, which is around the age that it starts. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight with, for a change, but I can't just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay, don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, I'll see you then. Oh, I thought maybe we could look in the backpack. Bathroom. I'm glad there's not... What is this? <laughs> they got me because I thought that was blood. I thought that was freaking blood. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Lonnie rules. So this Lonnie character um, is becoming an important piece to this puzzle. And, uh, her and Sam are getting pretty close. But I'm not speculating yet. Not yet. This looks like the parents' room? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Look at this old school phone. I definitely had one of these in my house. Growing up, I should say. Not now, not anymore. Close, 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 close. I am looking. I keep hearing them creaky ass floorboards, man. We are looking for a key. We are looking for a key to the basement because I feel like that's where we have to go. Ow. Slamming my face with the door. Stop it. Don't want to hear no more creaky noises. Okay. Bros and panties, panties and bros. Mitten, what happened to their cat mitten? Crazy how the daughter's room was not even that dirty, but theirs is, right? Parents. 
Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had... Nope, 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 nope. Have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? I don't worry. Well, don't worry. Terrence will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure. That's like her favorite line. But let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. It's the perfect. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Carol. There goes that picture. But this time it's like older. Cute. We never got to see what was in her locker, Sam's locker. He lent her a book, okay. We have a walk-in closet. Watercolor technique for florals and still lives. Very, very creepy. No. I feel like I missed a lot of stuff. There's a book there, but I can't get a hold of it. Well, these, oh. Well, that was the house key. I don't know, it won't, it, it won't allow me to look at that book. another postcard sent from Katie so dear mom dad and Sam I am in the channel this is my second passage through the channel I'm on my way from London this time going to Brussels Belgium sorry I didn't write you on the way to London but I was too excited about the channel <laughs> hope I'm saying that right London was great dad I know you've always wanted to visit and I think you really should you'd love it if you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime I guess I could be convinced love you all Katie There's the Bible. I mean, nothing too crazy. I kind of want to go back in her room to see if we can open that, open this uh, locker that she has.
I honestly don't know. it bother me anymore which is definitely what's going to get me spooked the frick out if there's nothing I wish I knew how to crouch but I can zoom Alright, well, I can't seem to find where um, this locker code might be. <laughs> if that's not the misfits with an extra S, I don't know what it is. Hmm. I don't know. Oh! Ha 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 ha! Tricky tricky. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. That's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is... Sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this in a beeper. Huh. <laughs> cute oh whoa okay your drawing of cats was so good that i added it to i added a background to make it even better maybe i should just stick to writing though haha ha, i like it how did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens <laughs> i'm looking at mr fish right now i feel like he would probably have lots of cats also like this secret shame is he oh. Also, like, his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. <sighs> he said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. <laughs> okay. So, I don't see anything else, really. And we still have not been able to get in this locker. So, let's just carry on and hopefully we find something. Um, the parents' room. <sighs> oh, I hate ambient noise. So here's the bathroom. Everything seems to be quite normal. If you can't see me like checking behind my back every two seconds, <laughs> I'm just like, no, <laughs> you will not spook me. What the heck? It's like a bathroom in a bathroom. Really? That's strange. So it looks like they were having marriage troubles. So it just seems like a family going through their normal stuff, you know, like
families do when kids get in their teens and parents, you know, start questioning their marriage and... Sorry, I just needed that to close all the way. It seems like that, but there could be a lot more here that we're missing. Oh, we'll get to that. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. So it looks like this her leaving was um, planned, or at least to some degree, because she knew that she would be gone before her sister got home. Hey, Sam, you're asking what my... I don't even know what that says. Ribbons meant. Here is a handy guide. Oh, so Lani was in the... Oh, it's coming together now. Okay, so Lani... Remember we saw that picture of the girl in the military with like the purplish hair? That's Lani. Because I remember it saying El DeSoto. And I was like... Soto, that's not their last name so it must be this girl she went to um, the Air Force or something of that nature so I guess her and Sam well friends or I don't know it's some something about it feels a little bit more than just friends ghost hunting journal Sighting journal, August 31st, 19 a.m. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? No, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1994, 12.44 a.m. This is not making it any better. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994, 4.11 p.m. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I had this. I had, I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. <laughs> October 9th, 1994, 11.24 p.m. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. October 22nd, 1914, 11 p.m., 12 a.m., Lani and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. October 28th, 1994, 10 p.m., October 29th, 4 a.m., enlisted Lani to stay up all night and help patrol premises recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lani reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, probably leaky roof, sample taken, just in case. Despite, due to our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Alright, so it seems as if we're getting somewhere. So there's, there's this thing with Sam and Lonnie, and they believe that the house is haunted because there's a lot of weird stuff going on, which is easy to understand because there's these creaky noises there's you know i've heard the the little murmurs a bit and other other like just other noises that could allude to the house being haunted but at the same time we saw that you know there was an invoice for a guy that came to check the house and he said that the wiring was all messed up and it was causing the lights to flicker and you know the house is old so it's prone to making weird noises at night and all that stuff so right now we're not sure if this house is actually haunted because we haven't actually seen anything but you know what i'm just gonna end it right here because i've been playing this for about half an hour and i don't want to draw it out too much and i think we're about to get into a really good part of the story and i don't want to start that just yet so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you really like on home let me know down in the comments and like this video share this video and as always this is felicia from rp2g bye oh please okay okay open the door close the door close the door cool okay now go in here 
Yup. Got you. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. No, dude. 